Welcome to Zoom Math's instructional video series for the software they are offering for the TI calculators. This video is specific to the TI-8384 calculator family. This particular video demonstrates how to use the software to factor quadratics over the set of rational numbers, a common skill developed in algebra classes. One of our objectives is to demonstrate how to type expressions in Zoom Math. Another objective is to demonstrate Zoom Math's capability of factoring quadratics. Our last objective is to demonstrate the limitations of Zoom Math's factoring capabilities. Once you have purchased and registered your Zoom Math software, you may access it under the Apps key on the TI calculator. Welcome to Zoom Math's calculator software for the TI-8384 calculators. The purpose of this short video is to demonstrate how to access the software as well as give you a template for viewing the video so that you may follow along on your own. I will have the screen put up here so that you can see the information being displayed on the screen and I'll have the key press history down in this area underneath it so that you can see the keys that I'm punching in case you need to see them. Now in order to access the software first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit the apps key and as you can see the applications come up here and the buttons I'm pushing on the calculator also appear here so that you can follow along that way. I will go ahead and scroll until I find the Zoom Math software. On this particular calculator, it's Zoom 500, and this includes the calculus part of their software. And once I have found my Zoom software, I will go ahead and hit enter, and it will take me to the publisher's page where it has the version, the publisher itself, and the website where you may receive more information. And after waiting a few seconds, it will take you to the screen where you may begin entering equations, expressions, among other things that the software is capable of handling. Our first example is to factor x squared minus 1. Since x squared is a perfect square, 1 is a perfect square, and they are separated by a minus sign, we would use the difference of squares formula. The formula suggests x squared minus a squared can be rewritten as quantity x minus a times quantity x plus a. Using a equal 1 in our situation, we have x squared minus 1 is equal to x minus 1 times x plus 1. Our first example asks us to factor x squared minus 1. So we will go ahead and type in x squared minus 1 by using the variable key, which is this key. Then we'll go ahead and hit the square key. And then we'll hit the minus key and the 1 key. And what Zoom Math will do is it will attempt to factor this expression once I hit enter. And if we wait a few seconds, we obtain the factorization that we saw when we did the work by hand. Our next example asks us to factor 2x squared minus 15x plus 7. Using guidelines often discussed in algebra classes, we do the following. Multiply 2 and 7 to obtain 14, list out the factors of 14, and determine which pair sums to negative 15. Listing out the factor pairs of 14, we have 1 and 14, negative 1, negative 14, 2 and 7, and finally negative 2, negative 7. Now we build a table to see which pair adds up to negative 15. We have 1 and 14, that adds up to positive 15, negative 1, negative 14, which adds up to negative 15, 2 and 7, which adds up to 9, and negative 2, negative 7, which adds up to negative 9. So negative 1, negative 14 is our pair. Now we can rewrite the negative 15x as negative 1x minus 14x and factor by grouping. Under our rewriting, we have 2x squared minus 15x plus 7 is equal to 2x squared minus x minus 14x plus 7. From the first two, we may factor out an x, leaving us with 2x minus 1 as an additional factor. 
From the last two, we may factor out a negative 7, which also leaves us with a 2x minus 1 as an additional factor. Since both of these share the quantity 2x minus 1 as a factor, we may also factor that out, leaving us with the quantity x minus 7 times the quantity 2x minus 1. And we now have the factorization. That's a lot of work. Our next example asks us to factor 2x squared minus 15x plus 7. So we will go ahead and type that in, 2x squared minus 15x plus 7, and we will hit enter, and we will wait for Zoom Math to factor this expression, which it will do in a few seconds. And here we can see the exact result we got when we did our factorization by hand. Our third example asks us to factor x squared minus 1 sixth x minus 1 third. First thing we'll do is factor out 1 sixth from the expression. This will lead to a quadratic with integer coefficients. Then we shall follow the guidelines stated in example 2. Thus, x squared minus 1 sixth x minus 1 third is equal to 1 sixth times the quantity 6x six squared minus x minus 2. Now we need to find two integers whose sum is negative 1 and whose product is negative 12. That would be negative 4 and positive 3. Now that we have our integers, we may rewrite the middle term as 3x minus 4x. And that is what we've done here in the first step. Upon completing this, we can see that in the first pair, we can factor out a 3x, which leaves us with quantity 2x plus 1. And from the second pair, we can factor out a negative 2, which also leaves us with a quantity 2x plus 1. This quantity 2x plus 1 is shared among these terms. So we may factor that out as well. And we have our factorization as 1 sixth times the quantity 3x minus 2 times the quantity 2x plus 1. That's a lot of work. Our third example asks us to factor x squared minus 1 sixth x minus 1 third. So we'll go ahead and type that in by hitting the variable key and then the square. And then we'll hit minus 1 divided by 6. And as you can see here, the fraction is appearing. When I type in the x variable, it takes me back up to the normal line away from the denominator. Then we can say minus 1 divided by 3. And we will go ahead and hit enter. And we will wait a few seconds for Zoom Math to factor this expression. And we can see the factorization results here where we have 1 sixth and then 2x plus 1 and then 3x minus 2. The exact result we got when we did our work by hand. Our last example asks us to factor x squared plus 8x minus 6. If we attempt to follow the guidelines stated in an example 2, we need to find two integers whose product is negative 6 and whose sum is 8. If we list out the integer factors of negative 6, and sum them, we have the following table. We have negative 1 and 6, which adds up to 5. We have 1 and negative 6, which adds up to negative 5. We have 2 and negative 3, which adds up to negative 1. And we also have negative 2 and positive 3, which adds up to positive 1. None of these sum to 8, so this quadratic does not factor over the rational numbers. Our last example asks us to factor x squared plus 8x minus 6. So we will go ahead and type that in. Variable key squared plus 8x minus 6. And we will hit enter as before. And we will wait a few seconds for Zoom Math to attempt to factor this expression. And we can see from the message here that Zoom Math cannot simplify that expression and to press enter. So we press enter and we see that Zoom Math simply returns the expression back to the home screen. The reason why Zoom Math cannot factor this expression is because this particular quadratic does not have rational results in its factorization. It has irrational results. 
If you were confronted with such a situation in an algebra class, it is likely that you would answer prime or irreducible as the result. And this is what Zoom Math is, is essentially trying to tell you. From these examples, we see that typing in expressions in Zoom Math is similar to typing in expressions on TI calculators. From the first three examples, we see that Zoom Math software can handle factoring quadratics over rational numbers. This implies that if the factors involve rational numbers, then it is likely that Zoom Math will determine the factors correctly. From the last example, we see that Zoom Math software does have some limitations, one being that if the factors involve irrational numbers or complex numbers, then it is likely that Zoom Math will display a message of not being able to simplify the expression. Thank you for watching this video on Zoom Math software for factoring quadratics over the set of rational numbers.